G'day internet, Tom here with another Purpose Built Moto Build Rundown. This is our first one for 2022, so let's rip right in. I'm super keen to show you what we've built. Now the first thing you're going to notice on this bike is the statement piece wheels that we've done. We've put a massive 150 tyre on the front. This is done by way of a set of custom triple clamps that we have machined, giving the extra width that you need to fit the standard size rear tyre on the front. We've gone with a high gloss black hub and rim combo, stainless steel spokes, and then wrapped them in a Continental TKC80 tyre. This gives this thing a super bold look. Carrying that on, the front end has been fitted with a seven inch classic purpose-built moto headlight, dome indicators, and a set of twin gauges from Daytona Valona. Now keeping with the dark and moody tone on this bike, the handlebar section has been nearly completely blacked out. We've got a set of black Acosado levers, a set of three button switches, built well grips, and the underslung bar end mirrors. The gauges, everything else has been black powder coat and then set up on a pair of black Renthal fat bars. I'm gonna get sick of saying black by the end of this video, let me tell you. Another great bit of fab work on this bike was the twin exhaust that comes down the right hand side. What we went ahead and did here was curve the left hand side in behind the oil cooler, making sure we keep enough clearance so it still can do its job then curved it around the side of the engine, leaving that two up setup right to the end where we have our collector that runs into a two inch purpose-built moto torpedo muffler. This is a really good piece of fab on the bike and because we've changed both the airbox out and put a set of Makuni carbs on the thing, we were able to tuck the exhaust in nice and tight which meant we could get away with no heat shield and you're still not gonna cook your leg when you're riding. So, they, you sort of got enough air gap there when you're hooning around that it's not doesn't get too too hot. Now while Dylan has done a lot of work on this one, one thing that I got my hands dirty with was making the custom side covers. Now we've done an airbox delete on this so the carburetors are running off DNA pod filters but in behind that we also have batteries and relays, there's also the ignition module that's tucked in there so we did have to cover that in to make it nice and tidy. What I've done here is hand bent and welded up a couple of bits of aluminium that box those sides in and then detailed them with a bit of uh, aluminium bar that we had at the shop. It's sort of like a semicircle that you can drill and tap from behind. So there's three separate pieces mounted onto the alley and the other sides are exactly the same. Now while this bike didn't receive too much gnarly custom work on the rear, we did have to do a lot of repairs. So when we got this bike, the suspension mounts on the rear had been bent up. I think someone had been off-roading on it with some shitty suspension on the back and it just completely bent those two shock mounts upward on the frame. So we've had to cut these out and do a bit of repair there, re-thread them with some high tensile M10 bolts that now hold the top shock mounts in place. And we've also done a wide wheel conversion on the rear. So to match the front, we've gone with the same gloss black hubs and rim with the stainless steel spokes. Got a really nice custom sprocket on there, a gold RK Tosago chain, and then 180 on the rear. So this is about as big as you can fit on the standard swing arm, but it is a gnarly modification. It makes these things look a little bit longer, a hell of a lot lower, and so, so much wider. They just sit super tough on the road. So we've actually done one of these sort of conversions before on the Triumph sidecar that we built a few years ago, and squeezing the 180 on the rear, I knew we had to get that done on this one too. The tail hoop on this thing has just been a simple weld-on modification. We've managed to French our three-in-one LED lights on the back here with the little plate mount. All of this stuff is actually available in our online store. We've since started making these in bulk so you can get yourself a tail tidy and a number plate light out of our store to chuck on the back of your bike if you want one. The three-in-one lights are a really good setup. We've been loving this lately. Generally, I'll, I do like the look of a center-mounted light like our orbit setup, but for the sake of simplicity on this project, I decided to just go with three-in-one, so you've got your tail brake light and the indicators mounted on either side. The seat we've kept nice and simple on this one. Some gloss black leather done in a nice roll stitch by Timeless Auto Trim, so thanks Jamo for sorting us out with that. 
Underneath this seat, we've got our black box module and the accessories kit to keep the wiring nice and tidy. If you want an in-depth look under the seat of this bike, we've just featured it in one of our black box videos that runs you through all the function and stuff on that little module that we've just released a new version of. So you can get a bit of an in-depth look on this bike in that clip. The performance side of this thing, we had to match the bark of the exhaust with a little bit of a performance upgrade on the intake side. So we've gone for a TM40 flat slide carburetor kit from Makuni Australia. They give these bikes so much more urgency when you get on the throttle, they just want to pull and go away. So this is a really, really smart upgrade for this. The Triumphs, especially once they get a little bit older, can feel a little bit doughy. You're riding a 900cc twin that doesn't really feel much faster than a 650, but if you chuck one of these kits on it, I guarantee it's gonna be a lot more lively. So well worth the cash to do a set of those. Breathing through some DNA pod filters, of course. And then this thing also came with an upgraded ignition as well. I can't remember the brand, but it's actually got a few different maps that you can select under the seat. So we've kept that on board there as well. The last modification that I'll run you through that was sort of on the fabrication side, we didn't actually complete. Before the bike had come in, this tank had actually been sectioned and thinned out and then bolted on. It's a good mod, it looks quite good, but underneath the tank was an absolute mess. It makes everything that's supposed to fit under there not really fit anymore. So the wiring and all that sort of stuff is a bit shitty underneath there, but we've managed to clean it all up. Everything's nice and schmick now, and I'm pretty happy with the thin tank too. The color on this bike has to be one of my favorite pieces that we've done recently. I was out for a ride one afternoon and saw one of the late model Land Rover Defenders riding around. It was in this Gondwana stone colour, so immediately I took a quick photo as I was riding past at the lights, looked it up when I got back, figured the colour out and made sure that we used it on this bike. It suits the style really well, especially offset against the black. And then once I've got all this stuff back, I went and hand painted the Triumph logos in the tank in a matching color. It's a little bit hard to spray in there. So I was in there for about an hour with a tiny little paintbrush, making sure I got it nice and tidy. All right, I'm gonna start this thing up now so you can hear just how nasty that, that two into one exhaust sounds. We'll take you out for a little test ride. Before we do though, we've just dropped a bunch of new tees. So if you want to get your hands on some PBM merch, we have a bunch of fresh tees in the online store or down below on our YouTube channel, you can also get them.
YouTubers going to ask you to subscribe to their Patreon. Luckily for you, we're not YouTubers. We're bike builders and parts makers. So if you like the content we create and the bikes we build, or you hate both of those things and just want to grab some gear for your next project, make sure you show your support, jump on our online store and give your bike that purpose-built moto touch. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.